Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also really helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So what we're going to be going over today is that we're going to be covering statics, equilibrium of rigid bodies, and we're going to be finding some reactions here. And this will be the 10th part in our series. So what we have going on is that we have three loads that are applied as shown to a light beam supported by cables B and D shown here on the left. Neglecting the weight of the beam, determine the range or the range of values for Q for which neither cable becomes slack when P is equal to zero. So basically we need to find a range of Q that does not cause these cables to not be in tension because cables can't be in compression. So we need to find a range for Q in which both of these cables, these reactionary supports are still in tension. So it makes it a little bit easier when P is equal to zero, so we don't have to worry about it. So what we're gonna have to do is that we're gonna have to sum moments at each of these points, B and D. So if we sum moments about point B equaling to zero for equilibrium, this will give us a point for Q or a value for Q such that dy will be equal to zero if we assume dy is this way and by is this way, trying to pull this thing back in tension. So when this happens, dy will be zero or we'll plug in dy equal to zero and we will see what q has to be. So assuming that dy is going to be zero, what kind of value for q makes that happen? Well, really the only thing that we have in our moment equation then is if p is zero, dy is zero, and we are summing about point B, so it drops out of our moment equation, we really only have the 7.5 in Q to worry about. So summing moments about point B, we would have this 7.5 kilonewtons on the left there. Its distance to point B would be 0 0.5 meters, and it will be rotating clockwise about point B. So it will be positive in my equation. And then I'm gonna have my Q, and its total distance to point B will be three meters. And it will be rotating clockwise, which means it will be going negative based upon my sign convention because the 7.5 is counterclockwise. And that is all I'm gonna have because I'm setting dy to be zero and determining what Q for which this happens. So pretty easy equation to solve for. Q is just gonna be 7.5 times 0 0.5 all divided by three. And that gives me a value of one 0.25 kilonewtons and Q would be going downwards. All right, so there's one of my extents, one of my range values. So whenever Q is 1.25 kilonewtons, this cable for D is no longer in tension. It is absolutely zero at this point. It is balancing out with point B over here. All right, so then to find what um, Q needs to be to make BY equal to zero, well, We'll just switch our summation of points. We'll set by equal to zero and then sum about dy. So summing about d, and we are going to take b sub y equal to zero and see what kind of q needs to, or what q needs to be in order for this to happen. So once again, we have our 7.5 kilonewtons. It once again will be rotating counterclockwise, this time about point d. So it'd be positive times the distance to point D, which is 2.75 meters. And then we will have Q. It will still be rotating clockwise, this time clockwise about D. And its distance to D will be 0 0.75 meters. And since we're taking BY equal to zero, we're gonna set this entire equation equal to zero. Well, Q is a nice simple equation here, just 7.5 times 2.75 all over 0 0.75. And that gives me a value of 27.5 kilonewtons. And that would be in my downward direction since it came out to be a positive value. So my range for my Q would be 1.25 kilonewtons. And that would be my bottom part of my range. And then my upper range would be 27.5 kilonewtons. So as long as Q is between those values, my reactionary tension or my reactionary cable forces will be in tension. Anything less than 1.25, well, dy is no longer in tension. 
or exactly at 1.25 is no longer in tension. And then exactly at 27.5 kilonewtons B sub Y is no longer in tension. So that is my range and that's how you would work that problem. So I hope this video was helpful. If you wanna see more problem solved this Friday, please check out other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below and subscribe to the channel because all of that does help us out. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.